Not every smart home project has to be a practical one. Sometimes it can just be really cool. This is one of those projects, but it's super easy, good fun, and a fantastic introduction to the wonders of an open source piece of software called WLED. And what's more, you can do the whole thing for less than half the cost of an off-the-shelf equivalent. In this project, I'm installing some Fast and Furious style lighting on my couch to add to the movie night ambience in my living room. This project is one you can tackle in an afternoon and is a perfect gateway project for learning about addressable LEDs. What are addressable LEDs? I'm glad you asked. If you've been around hobby electronics or seen a teenager's bedroom in the past few years, you'd have seen this LED tape. It contains little LEDs at regular intervals and can usually emit red, blue, and green light. Old school LED strips have a solder pad for each color and a ground pad. By combining these colors using some kind of controller to vary how much red, green, and blue is emitted, you can achieve all kinds of color combinations. Most often, these strips emit the same color at the same brightness across their entire length which is where addressable LEDs come in. These are available in the same kind of LED tape and at first glance, they're difficult to tell apart, except that typically they have just power, data, and ground pads. Addressable LED tapes, other form factors are available, have a little control IC for every LED or group of LEDs. It's sometimes built into the LED itself. The IC receives data from the data line and lights up the LEDs as instructed. What's super cool though, is because each of these ICs has its own address, you can command any LED or group of LEDs on your strip individually with some software magic. This opens up all kinds of possibilities for animations and effects over the length of the LED tape. You can even use it to make a matrix of LEDs and have your very own screen. In today's project, I'm going to install some of this addressable LED tape under my couch and set up some automations to automatically add some ambience to some of my favorite movies and series. I'm going to go one better than RGB though. We're going to use RGB CCT tape. This means we have red, green, blue, and correlated color temperature. Correlated color temperature just means that we have separate LEDs for our whites. RGB tape can technically do white, but it does it by combining red, green, and blue at the same level. This relies on the red, green, and blue channels being perfectly matched. If any of them are emitting slightly more light, which is pretty common, we'll get an ugly hue to our white color which is one of my pet peeves with LED fixtures. Instead of that solution for white, our LED tape has a warm white and a cool white LED at each pixel, giving us color temperature adjustable white alongside our colors. Much nicer looking. I literally just flipped my couch up on its back and stuck the tape inside the timber frame on the bottom. I came up a tiny bit short with just a five meter roll, so I trimmed a short section off a spare roll, grabbed my USB powered soldering iron and soldered it on to the existing length. I also attached some extra lengths of wire to the end of the strip. I'll be connecting the positive and negative pads to the controller on both ends to ensure even brightness along the whole length. Obviously, we need some way to drive the LEDs to send data to each one to tell it what color and brightness to be. I opted to use this little guy from IO Torero. I don't know how that's supposed to be pronounced. That sounds right to me, I'm not sure. It's an affordable little controller that supports DC power input and has a USB PD power input, which will be key for our setup. Plus it only runs at about $25 e dues, bringing the total cost for this controller and five meters and a bit of tape to about $55 or $60, or half the Govi equivalent product, or a fifth of the Philips Hue equivalent, which is crazy to me. There's a little switch which allows you to switch between requesting five and 12 volts from the PD power supply. You just set this to suit your LED tape, in my case, 12 volts. 
Most importantly, this little unit runs WLED on a little ESP32 inside. WLED is a powerful piece of open source software that you can use to control your LEDs and we can link all of our lighting into Home Assistant for some automation magic. I'll show you a bit more of WLED a little later. They come with these little pigtails for connecting your LED tape. In my case, the tape I bought came with a matching connector pre-installed, but I had to be careful to connect the wires to the correct terminals. The pre-terminated LED tape came with the colors labeled on the packaging, but the pigtail that came with my controller used the same colors in different orders. So just make sure to pay attention to this if you're hooking up your own LED tape. The controller just screwed into place on this cross brace under the couch, super easy. But before we finish this install and integrate my couch into my smart home, I'd like to talk about today's sponsor, Odoo. Odoo is an all-in-one business management software that includes all the tools your business needs to streamline and organize everything from manufacturing to human resources and expenses. One of the most painful things I have to do every quarter is correctly log all my expenses and balance the books. With Odoo Expenses, you can submit receipts straight from your phone, computer, or even just by forwarding an email. Much easier than managing paper receipts or keeping track of PDF receipts in your inbox. All the related expenses neatly in one place with one single expenses report grouped, tracked, and ready for approval. Managers can review everything at a glance with receipts and expenses side by side and approve them all at once with a single click. Once they're approved, they're automatically posted into your accounting book so there's no need to copy numbers into spreadsheets or reconcile things manually. And if you've got a team, you can even track everyone's expenses and easily re-invoice customer-related costs and build all kinds of automations to simplify your day-to-day. -day. It's one of those tools that quietly takes a boring job you hate and makes it disappear so you can get back to the fun stuff about running a business. If you want to check it out, head over to the link in the video description. Your first Odoo app is free for life, so if you're a small business owner, I'd highly recommend checking it out. There's no reason not to. Big thanks to Odoo for supporting the channel and for saving people from the tyranny of paper receipts. Next up is power. My couch sits in the middle of the room without any easily accessible power outlets nearby, so we'll need to run this with battery. I think the easiest way to go is to use a power bank. They're convenient, super easy to charge, handy for other things, and they come in really large capacities these days, so we shouldn't have to charge our couch too often, which is an odd sentence. I opted for these large 25,000 milliamp hour power banks from Ugreen. I quickly modeled up the power bank in Fusion and designed a quick release mount that allow us to quickly swap the power bank when it runs out of juice and without having to fiddle with the cable. As always, the files for this are up on printables if you'd like to replicate this project or use these mounts for some other use. The mount just screws onto the same brace as the controller with a handful of screws and should make it really easy to swap batteries. With my power bank fitted and connected via USB PD, my new lighting is ready to go. Now we just need to get WLED set up. The controller comes with WLED pre-installed, I just followed the manual to get it all connected and then performed a couple of over-the-air updates. Once you have WLED set up, you can access it from the WLED app. In here, you can play with effects, colors, presets, and all your settings. I set up a bunch of fun presets for all my favorite movies and connected WLED to my Home Assistant install so I could link it into my automations. For movies and shows with matching mood lighting, I'm using an automation that'll wait for certain movie titles to be playing. When a movie is playing, I use the Plex integration to check the title of the media being played. If the title contains certain keywords, the corresponding preset is recalled after a few seconds, setting the mood for the movie. After 90 seconds or so, it'll fade to off. If there's no matching movie title in my automation, it'll just default to a nice warm white. When we pause, like our living room lamp, the lights will fade back up to give us enough light to grab a snack or duck to the bathroom or take the dog out for the eighth time. At night, this looks very cool, very space age. Looks like the couch is floating a little bit. Here's a handful of some of my favorite mood setting presets for some inspiration. 
When a Star Wars film is played, the LEDs will light up as though there's a pair of lightsabers under the couch. When one of the new Star Wars trilogy films are played, the TV, surround sound and all lighting will be turned off because we don't watch those in this household. Bluey will light up blue. Frozen has a nice themed effect too, and somewhat obviously, Shrek will light up lime green. This LED controller also has a microphone, so you can have effects driven by sound. Very cool for a party. You could even have Home Assistant automatically turn on the effect when you use the Spotify app, for example. If I put on a Formula One race, Home Assistant will detect it and show a red chase under the couch until I finish watching, which is kind of good fun. When the TV is off, the lights will gently light the couch from underneath when the sensors in the roof detect that the room is dim and occupied. The indirect light is a really fantastic way to keep some light in the room, but not be too distracting or blinding. This has been working awesome for the last couple of weeks with one small hiccup along the way. I wasn't getting the battery life my math said I should be getting. It turns out the LED strips consume a good chunk of milliamps even when they're off. This particular controller doesn't have a relay on board to disable the power output when the LEDs are set to off so they slowly consume a little bit of power over time. WLED does have the relay functionality built in though, so I just added a little MOSFET board between the controller and the LED strip and connected it to a spare GPIO pin. Now WLED automatically turns off the supply to the strip when it's in the off state. I did this project to learn more about WLED, which I'll be using for a few exciting lighting projects that'll be coming soon. So if you'd like to see those, get yourself subscribed. Doing a small approachable project on the way to some large aspirational project is a great way to build confidence and learn about some of the issues you might encounter along the way. In my case, I learned about the LED power draw issue. And share your thoughts about this project in the comments. I'd love to know if you'd consider doing something similar for your own home. If you like this video, leave me a like and a comment. If not, let me know why. Thanks heaps for watching. I'll catch you next time.